Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here, and in today's Destiny video, we're going to be taking a quick look at the Hard Light after the patch that has recently come out, buffing all of the auto rifles, as well as taking away the special ammo. Now with this hotfix also came increased air accuracy, as well as an increased base damage of low rate auto rifles by 2.5%. And they also increased the precision damage modifier up to 1.3%, which isn't really too much of a difference. So for the first half of this video, we are running accurized ballistics to get that extra range and impact. And then for the second half, we're using the CQB ballistics in order to get the maximum stability roll to see the difference there and just see what I like better in the end and to give you guys a better opinion. Now, just to start off with this video, we're just going to list the good things that I found out about the hard light over the past couple of hours of running it and just seeing it over the new meta and going up against people while they were rocking their sidearms and their last words and everything just to see how it was able to compete up against those weapons and everything else that has changed since the weapon update. So overall the hard light definitely did keep up pretty well and overall at the end of the games that I was playing I would find myself having a lot of kills more than average. I would have at least 15 kills every game of rip that I would play. Some games even like 20 or 30 while my other teammates would only have like 18. So for the most part the hard light was definitely helping me to get more kills. But I think that's just because of the playstyle that is pretty much necessary when running this gun. You're pretty much forced to be extremely aggressive anytime that you stay back. Uh, you're not really going to be able to get any kills because the hard light's only really effective in medium to close range. And I was choosing to run a sidearm, that way if I ever ran out of bullets in my clip and there were like multiple people in front of me, I could switch to my sidearm and take them out. I felt that when I wasn't running a sidearm and I was running like a sniper, I would run out of bullets and then not be able to do any damage because I'd have to be forced to reload and that would end up taking more time in getting me killed. So I'd almost suggest running the sidearm with this just because for the most part you're going to be rushing so it's best just to have two guns that are going to be really good at close range. That way you won't ever really be caught off guard. Also when really close range, I was actually trading with last words. The only thing that I would ever really have a problem with was the palindrome. If you didn't land the first shot on the person, it was almost every single time that I was getting killed. For some reason, the hard light wasn't able to stagger the palindrome enough to really affect people. And anyone that was really good with the palindrome or Ayaz Luna ended up just killing me every single time with hard light. So that was kind of frustrating. So if you're really good with hand cannons, you're definitely going to be able to beat this gun every single time that you're up against it, which is kind of frustrating. But also for some of the bad about this weapon now, it's also kind of a wasted exotic just because of the fact that the perks on it that make it an exotic aren't really worth it. So it has over penetrating rounds and the bullets will actually ricochet off of surfaces. But in testing this out, every time that I would try to ricochet off surfaces, I would only ever get like one hit marker. And over the entire day of running this weapon, I only ever got one kill while bouncing the bullets off of a wall. And it was because the guy was already pretty hurt. So for the most part, the exotic perks are never really going to be used on this weapon, so to waste the exotic slot on it doesn't really make too much sense. So I would really only recommend this gun to people that like to be super aggressive, and maybe if you've come from another game like Call of Duty, or any other game where you use an auto rifle, this is going to be awesome due to the high stability that this gun has. So if you're using a Titan, a Twilight Skate, or maybe even a Warlock with focus burst like I am, this gun is definitely perfect for you, and so long as you're in close to medium range, you really won't have much trouble with it. And for the most part, you can pretty much pick it right up and use it. You're not going to have to learn how to use it or do anything special to do, be decent with it. Ever since this patch came out, like a few weeks ago, if I was using this, I would say that it would take you two or three games to get used to it because it just took so long to kill. But in this new meta, and because of the fact that no one's sniping or shotgun warrioring as often, it's actually a lot better. And on top of that, the in-air accuracy boost is definitely a plus, as I did see a small difference when jumping up and down and when just in the air in general with this auto rifle. So you may see some positive effects from that as well. And for the most part, everything about this has just gotten better. There's really nothing that's gotten worse. So overall, the hard light's not the best gun in the game, but for the most part, it does keep up nowadays in this new meta. And I could definitely see running it almost every game, so long as you're in a 6v6. If you're in 3v3, I'm not sure if this is going to be as effective. And if you're in Rumble, I don't think it's going to be that great either, because it just doesn't do enough damage fast enough. Because the people that are really good with Eyes Luna and Palindrome are going to be able to take you out almost every single time. And it's definitely not easy to beat Pulse Rifles either, unless you have some other sort of secondary, like a sniper rifle, you're definitely going to be struggling. Now for the last thing about this weapon that I didn't really like, that's not really a big deal, but it definitely was noticeable, is that every time you shoot it, because the bullets ricochet and because they light up the way they do, every time that you shoot the weapon off, everybody on the other team is always going to know where you're at, because the bullets are going to ricochet off the wall and they light up just so bright. 
that it's usually pretty easy to see where they've come from. So if you're trying to like maybe come up behind somebody, or if someone hasn't seen you yet, the second that you shoot this gun, especially, everyone will definitely know where you are. So that was just another thing that was not really a big deal, but definitely a downside when running this, is that I found a lot of people would always start shooting me the second I started shooting, just because this gun attracts so much attention. But overall, I would probably give this gun like a 7.5 out of 10. It's not the best gun in the game, but if you're trying to have fun and just do decent, then that will definitely help you out. Now, in certain situations, like in 6v6, like Rift and on certain maps, this gun could easily be like an 8.5 or a 9. It just kind of depends on how you and your team are running together. If you guys are team shotting all the time, then you're probably going to be destroying. And if it's a certain map where you can always bounce the bullets off the wall accurately, then again, this is just going to be an awesome gun for you. And in certain situations, it really can be a pretty decent weapon and actually deserve that exotic slot. But it's very, very rare, which is why I don't suggest running it all the time. But finally, before we wrap up this video, guys, I would also suggest running the Maximum Stability build with the CQB Ballistics. After running Accurize for a little bit, I thought it was okay, but the recoil was just a little bit annoying, and I would end up missing, like, one or two shots. That would actually keep me from getting the kill. Also, when trying to ricochet bullets off of walls, I found that it wasn't as easy because you really never knew where the bullets were going due to the recoil, but when using the Maximum Stability, I was actually able to hit a few more shots on target while bouncing them off walls, and especially while aiming down my sight, even when getting shot at by Palindrome and Luna. So if you're trying to use this in Rumble or something like that, then definitely throw on that Maximum Stability. You really will see the difference, and it probably will help you out. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much all I have got for you guys about the hard light. If you haven't used it yet, I would definitely suggest giving it a shot. It's definitely not the same weapon it was a few weeks ago, so it definitely is worth giving it a try if you haven't yet. Let me know what you guys have been using ever since this patch drop, the new class setups you guys have found, you know, whether it's a hand cannon, a sidearm, or maybe you guys are still shoddy warrioring. Let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I will see you tomorrow in another Destiny video. Peace. Obliterated them.